welcome hippies, thank you for clicking on the video. So the past week, I decided that I was gonna work out every single day and that's literally what you are seeing right now because I decided to film it. And let me tell you, filming it, great idea. I definitely recommend it if you want to exercise and need accountability, especially in times like these when you have to work out at home pretty much. So I personally found that recording my workouts really held me accountable. When my camera would die during my workout, I would be like more inclined to kind of half-ass it, even though as you can see, you can't really tell what I'm doing during my workouts because it's going so quickly. But the reason why I'm posting my workouts like this online is A, in part for me because I'm kind of using it as an accountability thing. So hot tip, making a goal and posting your video online really helps you actually to keep accountable to it, I have found so far. And in part, I wanna also show you guys that if I can do it, then you can do it too because I have been wanting to do stuff like this for a very long time, like staying consistent with my workouts, actually working out every day. Like this is a new territory for me, okay guys? So if you're thinking like, oh I can, you can do it too, okay? You can do it too, you can, you can. During quarantine, I gained like the quarantine 15. Uh, was not looking too hot, none of my underwear fit. Uh, so I was re really wearing no underwear for quite some time, to be honest. So I was like, this has got to change. I really do need to wear some underwear. So I decided to make a change and I, I, I go big or go home, I guess, right? I, I decided that I wanted to work out every day because you know, it creates some sort of routine. So that's what we got going on here. We got a routine, 20 minutes manageable. Not too much, we're not going like full on one hour a day, but I'm enjoying this 20 minutes, okay? So going forward to next week, which is this week that I'm on right now, I'm still gonna be doing 20 minutes. I don't wanna rush myself. Eventually I think we'll move up to 30 minutes, but we're stu still doing well with 20 minutes because I still feel a little bit of resistance. It's still a challenge for me. So we're gonna go next week, 20 minutes as well. So the first few days, great. Motivation was high, I was doing great, look at me go. Didn't realize that my pants were see-through, but you know what, that will solve itself when I lose weight. I didn't actually take before photos when I started this, but I took them on the fourth. No, I didn't actually, I took a video. Here is my screenshot of my before photo, plus what I looked like after one week of working out every single day. So there's not that much of a difference, but yo, my abs, can you see that? My abs kind of look a little bit better. I feel better. I like, I literally feel better. I really, really do. Um, and honestly, keeping this promise to myself has been the biggest game changer, like game changer. I trust myself so much more because I'm keeping that promise to myself. I feel like I'm building my discipline, building my confidence are both skills you just you gain those skills by working that muscle by keeping the promises that you make to yourself which is what I'm doing that's why we got to keep the promises achievable but also challenging but achievable so every single day up until I think day six I was doing great day six was a struggle for me because it was a morning workout it was at 10 a.m. and I had gone to bed I think at like four or five or six or something like that the day before. Something late, I didn't sleep much, so I was tired. But you know what, I was like, I said I was gonna do it, so we're gonna do it. Um, and so my friend Jenny and Sarah host Zoom workouts every single day, so thank you Jenny and Sarah. What's up? Hi. So that's what I've been doing, uh, and for three of the days when I wanted to work out at a different time than when the Zoom workout was, I did Kayla, it's in, it's in, 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 you know what I'm talking about, Bikini Body Guide. That's what I did for three of the days. If you want to see the workouts that I did on those days, you can have them right now for three easy payments of literally nothing. So I bought that workout guide a million years ago, never finished it, probably never did more than like two weeks of it, maybe three, uh, but I hated it. And I knew I hated it before I decided to do it. Still hate it, absolutely hate it. Don't like counting reps, but you feel really good afterwards. You really do. I mean, workouts are not supposed to be fun. You're never gonna feel like working out. You're never gonna feel like working out, but you feel good afterwards for sure. Every single time, common theme, proud of myself after, felt good after. So it was good. I ended up listening to an audiobook that was extremely helpful and appropriate for the time. It's called The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. If you haven't heard of it, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. If you just watched the TED Talk, read the book or listen to the audiobook. I really like the audiobook. So it really helps to realize that your brain literally talks you out of doing things that you know you should do or you know you wanna do, but you don't feel like doing. 
Basically what it tells you is that you have a five second window between when you have an instinct to act and when you need to act before your brain kicks in and your thoughts convince you not to do the thing. If we only did the things that we felt like doing, we probably wouldn't get very far in life. So you use the five second rule to act on your instincts, act on your desires, the things that you want to do. So when you have an, in, an instinct, oh, I, want, I should work out, I want to work out, five, four, three, two, one, you just do it. That's basically the concept of the book. Honestly, it's a good book. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The hardest day for me was day seven. Day seven, I did not want to work out. I did not feel like working out at all whatsoever. I put up my, I put up my exercise mat and then I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do the workout later. And then I already had the exercise mat out, so I was like, fuck, well, either I leave the exercise mat out all day or I put the mat away until later. And that in itself kind of made me feel shitty. I was like, no, like I said I was gonna do this. I put up the mat and then like, no, I'm never gonna feel like it. Remember, you're never gonna feel like it. It's always gonna suck, you're always gonna hate it, pretty much. So I procrastinated a little bit. I made some coffee, watched a few YouTube videos, then finally was like, okay, let's just fucking do this. And you let me tell you, guess how I felt after. Proud as fuck, said anyone who ever worked out ever, right? So this week has been really good. And we're already on to week two, 20 minutes a day, we're killing it. And I'm excited for next week. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Give me some words of encouragement. Let me know if you're working out. Literally anything, it doesn't really matter. But next week I will be coming at you with results for week two. We're called Hippie Boot Camp. This is Hippie Boot Camp, okay? We're going every day, bro. Thank you again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope that you follow your dreams. I hope you stay hippie. I hope you stay happy. I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you guys. Bye. Yes. Yes. Do da do dee 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 da da do 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 do. Yeah.